Hello, today I'm going to be discussing an article that explores the cultivation theory. So the article I read and analyzed is called Affluenza, Television Use, and Cultivation of Materialism. This article was written by Mark Harmon, who works as a professor in the Department of Broadcasting at the University of Tennessee. So first, the cultivation theory, which was proposed by George Gerbner, claims that exposure to media over time suddenly um, cultivates viewers' perceptions of reality. So in this article, Harmon suggests that there is a positive correlation for the cultivation of materialism among those who watch TV more often. So he's pretty much just saying that people are more materialistic the more they watch TV. Um, in this article, Harmon defines materialism as the association of success or happiness with the accusation that acquisition or possession of goods or the means to obtain goods. Materialism also imp implies spending money freely, impulsively, and carelessly. So in order to look into this hypothesis um, that materialism positively correlates with TV viewing, researchers conducted an analysis of the Simmons Market Research Bureau, um, SMRB, Study of Media and Markets, SMM. The data was collected from June 13, 1993 through March 22, 1994, using a four-stage module. So the first stage was an initial hour-long personal interview on newspaper reading habits plus individual and household demographics, and this was completed by about 22,051 people. The second stage was a self-administered questionnaire on psychographics, purchases, and some TV information, and about 11,000 respondents completed um, and returned the booklet that they're given. The third stage was a 35-minute um, personal interview covering changes since the first interview took, had taken place, plus additional questions on radio listening and um, magazine readings. The fourth stage was a two-week mail-in diary of TV viewing, and about 21,594 people responded regarding their TV viewing. In addition to this analysis of that study, they also analyzed um, the 1972 to 1996 General, um, General Social Survey, or the GSS. So the GSS typically consisted of 1,500 face-to-face -face interviews per year. And from these interviews, researchers analyzed the questions that um, and looked into the questions that were related to materialism specifically. So, for example, they looked into questions that would say, like, please tell me how important each thing is to you. Um, and it would say, like, having nice things or or they would um, look into questions that said using the scale from one to seven for your answers, bring how important blank is or a high income is in this case and these are just some examples but they would also look into more questions and statements that just regarded materialism and from these analyses of these two studies and the survey and the study there were no strong correlations from the um, SMRB SMM so the first study with materialism and TV viewing However, in the GSS, so the second one that they looked into, um, there were strong correlations in the expected direction. Uh, so things Harmon found from the GSS is that respondents who regarded having nice things as important and who believed in taking care of themselves before others tended to be heavier TV viewers. And then they also found that respondents who regarded a high income as important also viewed TV more often. So overall, the first data set um, yielded no correlation across 29 different questions related to materialism. The second de data set, however, showed a strong link across three fairly, three fairly um, direct measures of materialistic attitudes. So Harmon suggests that these results are most likely due to other aspects um, of the study playing a role that weren't looked at, and that the materialistic values may have been too subtle to be observed using quantitative research. So overall, from this entire article, Harmon wants us to know that just because these may not um, be the results he was expecting, um, these findings are clues to the idea that cultivation of materialistic values take place while watching TV. 
So that is all I have for you today and good luck on your test.